Today I had my face beat by my dear friend, Mimi Suleiman. The Hans one and only. Yes, I know, right? I haven't <laughs> seen her in a long time. So today was girls hangout. And girls hangout. Is it? Sort of. You, you're a woman now because you're married. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your ass book? I'm still in the singles club, baby. <laughs> I'm still a very young A lot of things that are not common knowledge A lot of things about Mimi that are not common knowledge So we're going to be sharing 5 things about Mimi that are not common knowledge So shoot babe Well, first off, I am a control freak As a first child, it's, it's, I think it's just innate You know, I'm a control freak, I like to control things that happen i like to be in full control even though I, most of the time it's really difficult to do that i like to be in full control of things that happen around me things that happen in my life things that um have to do with my loved ones i love to be in control of those factors so yeah two two um I'm not as prim and proper as most people think. You would know I that. I know that. <laughs> I'm not as prim as, and proper as most people think I am, like, you know, when they first meet me. Of course I am, like, you know, to just people in general and then mm. work ethics and stuff. But to my friends, people mm -hmm. who are not just acquaintances who are actually, who I actually consider as friends. Well, we can't begin to say the improper things that we've, we've, we've done. Nah. Mm -mm. Most of the times I'm always the one instigating them. Let's just move on. We're crazy. Yeah. You can't hang with us. No. <laughs> no. You can't sit with us if you're not team crazy. Hashtag crazy. team crazy. But you know. Number three. Number three. Um, I wear makeup to sleep sometimes. You know? Like when the face is so utterly big. And you don't that moment when you do not want to get rid of Like I'm talking the kind of beat that you need to absolutely take a moment of silence for. Just to respect, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know there's that kind I of know, know. Like I you know. need to respect the greatness that is lying on your face. That kind of beat. <laughs> I I can't I think anybody would in my shoes would do the same thing. I can't sometimes I just I just can't do it. I can't clean it up. People on my Snapchat would know that. Um, I always, show them, you know, the results afterwards. I um, go to sleep with it. I just sleep off, and then most of the times, really, ninety-eight percent of the time, I wake up and the makeup is still pretty much intact. You know, there will be, of course, you can see the imperfection here and there, but almost every other thing, including the contour, the highlight, would pretty much be on fleek. Just maybe the side that I went to sleep off. Mm. Or would probably go up a little bit, but I do it nothing times. I know, unlike most people, that does not give me breakouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was know. going to ask that because no. a lot of people actually have um, reactions when they see yeah, no, me. Not me. My skin understands. <laughs> that, <laughs> and that, it complies. Yes, yeah. yeah it, <laughs> it doesn't mess with me in <laughs> that <laughs> angle. Anything that has to do with makeup, my skin does not get like and high never gotten any reaction to any makeup like or product or something. So number four, right? Well, number yeah. four would probably be you wear makeup most times because oh, yeah. of the camera. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I I love makeup. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love makeup. I obviously everyone knows that I love to wear it on my own face especially. However like 99.999 percent of the time i'm not wearing makeup at all like no ounce 99 percent of the time not even powder like i just you know i love to carry my own skin i'm very comfortable in my own skin um, so i hardly wear makeup on a regular day not even on dates with my husband or anything most oh, okay um and i only most times i only wear makeup when i'm going in front of the camera or you know when i'm going to work when i have a serious when i have clients and, and i have like appointments with my clients i like to look the part so i but wear not, makeup not on a casual 
or regular day now, you would not find me wearing makeup. There's a 90%, 99% chance I wouldn't be wearing makeup that there is that I would. Um, mm -hmm. Only for you guys on Instagram or Snapchat or any other social media. That's when I bother. Hey. <clears throat> is that enough? Well, um... Oh well, actually, I love makeup as well, but I I think I actually feel like I feel relieved whenever I'm wearing makeup. Actually, I I think it's a breakthrough when you let your face breathe. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad. You, you know, actually like, feel the same way. Really? So um, no negative comments. I I want to know. I, I've actually never asked you. Mm. You know, if you how you deal with negative comments, if you ever like hard hard them well the thing is um especially where social media is concerned you cannot have everyone you can't please everyone you can't have you have like everyone liking and appreciating what you do and respecting the art and the time you know you have to invest to produce such work um there are people who come with like a baggage of negativity <laughs> The thing is, I they have, have they have zero. Gym. Yeah, you, absolutely zero. There gym. is no social media Ooh. etiquette. There is like, no way to talk when they they just go all out. Like there's you know, just people this like hatred. to hide behind their yeah. phone screens. People who yes. on a regular mm -hmm. day dare not look you in the eye. Yes, and they would hide behind their phone screens and they would type like absolute gibberish on your page and say it's my opinion well honey this is my page it's your opinion keep it to yourself on your phone don't you dare bring that drama to my page that's just it like i um have zero tolerance for lack of sense if i don't care like no ain't nobody gets time for that if you don't like what you see on my page then stay off my page don't even bother i agree with like, you unless you appreciate what i do don't bring yourself here nobody is forcing me to look at any picture have you ever got any negative comment that you remember that you never forget oh yeah oh yeah tell oh me. yeah tell me um apart from those ones that will come and be telling you that's a bit that's too much makeup like i asked you or like it's your face it's my face if i want to carry all the makeup in the world and wear it it ain't your business no apart from those ones um they those ones that would i've had this lady this young lady this one time that was like i don't know if her husband saw my picture on her phone or or her boyfriend i don't know why i paid her so much but she seemed to be talking about her with so much passion why are you always posting pictures of yourself on your page in that statement there were two primary words yourself and your page myself and my page so why I don't get where it. did you come into the picture you are the I one that should leave if you're like, not comfortable i don't understand can someone clarify me what is your problem you know so in my, and I, I just looked at it and i struggle. laughed yeah. the instagram social, social media struggle i think it's just it's just you really know, sometimes you really, really try not to be rude, but these people, oh, they be pushing your buttons like, oh, and I'm like, girl, if you know what I'm, in, well, how I'm like in real life, you will try like to be very polite and you know exactly and, and keep myself <laughs> deep, very deep in there because they might not understand or pick <laughs> up. So yeah, I mean, why take life so seriously, man? Just chill. So people just need to really relax and just take life easy and then there's one final thing <laughs> that you should know about mimi most of her, her friends i want to say most <laughs> predominantly but most her friends think. her friends are predominantly christians for a muslim oh, yeah. for a muslim that that's um and we've been friends for almost four years now and um i mean i respect her religion um and she respects mine my friends and i think when the common goal of friendship is you know progression you know you you don't have problems when you understand and respect each other i think that that's that's what's most important i mean you have people with different different backgrounds in terms of socioeconomic status religious religious yeah. backgrounds different you know, ideologies uh -huh. and you just have to come together and learn i think 
that process of knowing that even though these people are so different from me you can still learn and understand each other i think that's what the core essence of friendship is mm -hmm. so um mimi thank you for beating my face today oh, thank you welcome. for giving me a good time you know i love your black i behind. love you <laughs> <laughs> this is, is my it? girl yo i know you guys so need to come back to this blog and listen to all of Titi's mm -hmm. rants from mm -hmm. time to time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you subscribe to see more. Um, this is really about what I get up to, and I'm glad I had Mimi here today. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you very much Ooh, for watching. One minute. Press the like button and subscribe. You will regret it. I promise. Toodles. Let's be posh. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> <laughs>